Hey, what's up, people? This is Penn, and welcome back to the channel. So this will be my last video for 2023. Um, I want to take the time in this video to thank everybody that supported me in this journey up to this point. And for everyone that's going to see this, you know, after the new year on New Year's Eve, going into next year, things like that. Um, definitely appreciate, you know, the viewership and support overall. Um, channel has went in a very different direction um, compared to the previous years. Um, that's due to different interests, different hobbies, uh, YouTube terms of service, of course, in some various aspects. But overall, um, it's just a channel that I wanted to push in a different direction to push out more products to the viewers in the community and, you know, to also have a more diverse review portfolio at the end of the day so that when companies look over my channel or when it's necessary for me to send a playlist out, I have the different um, tech models between devices, media players um audio stuff televisions to where you know i can bring some things to the table um even if you may disagree with me things like that so just want to get that out the way now i got this website here and if you've been following the channel i've been doing the review process of the samsung s90c and 77. now this isn't where I purchased a television. Um, I prefer to go through a retailer route. I went through Best Buy, got a five year geese squad protection plan on top of it. TV costs over three bands, over 3K and things like that. And one of the biggest factors when it comes to a television of this purchase is Samsung gives the ability of 4K uh, up to 144 hertz. So shout out to Glorious um, Kev on Twitter. He also has a YouTube where he put out something along the lines of um, on Twitter. He put NVIDIA for CES 2024. Will they be releasing more affordable graphics cards for consumers? And I commented on that and said, I'm interested. And he's like, are you coming back home, bro? Meaning that am I coming back to PC, you know, for gaming? And it's still up in the air, but when you get a panel such as this at the quality that this output for gaming, there is no other device on the market that can push the graphical fidelity and the performance as a dedicated gaming PC. PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X are very nice alternatives get you up and running easy to set up with the audio and all that games don't crash typically on consoles everything runs as you would expect it to but there are some caveats um some things are left behind the paywall some things you're going to have to choose between performance and graphics with pc you generally have more freedom and more options things like that so i'm gonna go here um if this is a rabbit hole that I'm considering for 2024 have a family member that sort of wants a computer that they don't want to think about it. I already have something set up on my current bill that I'm on now while I'm recording this video. And this is the new bill that I have in mind. The key here is this Asus tough gaming where this particular graphics card has two HDMI 2.1 um, ports. So typically a GPU will give you three display ports, things like that, and then one HDMI. Well, this gives me two because I have a television for my main monitor on my desk. And then if I literally turn 90 degrees, I have a 77 inch OLED television within the same room. So me having the ability to have two HDMIs on a graphics card is huge because this actually fits my setup. 
Now, the only downside of this setup is that it's going to cost. Um, it's not significantly more than my television. No, it's not significantly more. It's just one of those things that you got to invest in. So what I'm saying, I'm considering this um, is a consideration. Just a consideration. The, the, there's going to be two main projects, definitely for 2024 in terms of the channel and the entertainment setup. Um, this can very well, this could very well be one of them for sure. Just giving y'all an update on what's going on, things like that. Because I want to speak about the review process further when it comes to a high-end gaming PC, when it would be applicable, uh, where it would make sense versus using consoles and showing a review process based off of that and get back into my comparison videos where I show a left side and a right side. But instead of that being more on the media player or the movie or TV show side, it's going to be more on a gaming side and you're going to be able to see um, different perspectives, you know, when it comes to my particular equipment. And I feel as though that's also important. So since I have a higher end television or high end. I mean, it's in talks of the the G3 from LG, the A95L, the S95C. They're all within that same bracket because it's a second generation QD OLED panel. Okay. So I will put my TV in the high end range because that's the picture quality uh, that it outputs. It's, it's a high end type of level. So high end display also deserves a high end PC if we're talking about gaming. So this is one of the things that I'm considering. OK. And then there's also another piece um, I'm going to be considering some different um, audio pieces, but I'm going to be doing some research that uh that project i'll announce more on that you know as i make the progression and things like that but i just wanted to come on here to just say uh you know happy new year if you see this on the new years uh hope everybody enjoy their holidays if you celebrate christmas with your friends and family hope you received everything that you expected um and I just want to thank everybody. I want to keep this short and simple for supporting me uh, throughout the years because, you know, there are some consistent names, you know, that are in the chat that I do participate in the live streams. And um, I greatly appreciate it. And um, yeah, until next time, peace out. Let me know what you think down in the comment session. Uh, until next time. Goodbye.